in three weeks. The Shy Season 4 will be airing on May 23rd. And this season is going to be all about love, protests, and just making it through everyday life in Southside Chicago. And this show has come a long way from season one, two, and three. Now, season four is here, and I can't wait. So in this video, we're going to talk about what we can expect from the Shy Season 4. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a season that we are not going to forget. Stay tuned. Gangsta or mayor? That is the question. This will probably be the hardest decision you'll ever make. It's going to affect you for the rest of your life. ID. What I got to show you my ID for? Come on, Jay, let's go. Get on the ground! What are you Go out. Well, I ain't scared to die. There's a war going on outside. Today, I'm going to change our city forever. What's up, everybody? Lena Waithe here. I'm so excited that y'all are very excited about the new season of The Shy. We've had such a wonderful time making it, writing it, and the actors this season are out of this world. We've really tried to step our game up this season uh, with the cinematography, with the wardrobe, uh, with so many things, because we really want to give you guys the best show possible. And this season is really all about love uh it's also about protest and it's about finding your voice and knowing how to use it uh we hope that you guys will tune in and show up and show out as you always do for a new season of the shy season four is coming to you sunday may 23rd yes the wait is almost over mark your calendars now uh and get your popcorn ready it's gonna be a hell of a ride What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about the shy season four, what to expect for season four of the shy. Now, yesterday, the shy showtime, they put up their Instagram post. They put up the official poster for season four and you already know what time it is we got what 22 days and we will be seeing season four of the shy i cannot wait now if you haven't seen my season four trailer recap make sure you check it out um it's up right now it's giving you a full breakdown on what we saw in that official trailer for season four in this video we're going to focus on just some of the key storylines that or expect it to happen and I'm gonna just try to break those down you guys leave your theories predictions everything down below you let me know what do you think is going to happen in season four of the shy so let's begin now I'm gonna tell you right now we can expect Jake to have a crazy season and he's on the you know he's in the front cover of the poster I believe this season will be really about him the most part i would say he will be probably one of those main characters that is going to shine this season and he's going to be challenged a lot and as we can see it's going to be a lot of you know police using entirely too much force and we're going to see it time and time again throughout the season just based off the trailer alone we know that the elements of the show is changing now in season three of the shy everybody was asking where are the police at it was people wanting to have the police back in the season well. In season four, the police is back. And they're using the, the police in this season similar to how the times are right now. And that's exactly what we're going to see. And as I told you guys, Jake will have a hell of a season. We can expect him to go through a lot um, with the police. And his brother, Treg, will go through a lot as well. So it's going to be a challenging season for Jake, Treg, and also Kevin Duda, this is going to be one of those seasons that they're going to have to step up to the plate to make sure things, you know, are right. And like I told you, we know Jake, based off the trailer, is going to be going through with the cops. Trick, he's going to be going through similar things as well. Um, I believe that, you know, Trick will be able to move through and adjust because he's older, he's, you know, experienced, but Jake will suffer. But I believe he's going to have to have a lot of support to push him through. Now, y'all saw what the police are doing in this season. The protest is going to be heavy. Duda 
seeing that he is Jake's guardian is going to have a hell of a responsibility, not just for Jake, for the community. He knows that Trig is working for him. He knows he is the guardian of Jake and he has to, you know, keep everyone happy. He has to keep law enforcement happy. He has to keep the community happy. He has to keep the 63rd Street mob happy as well. So a lot of pressure will be put on Duda. Yes, he's going to say he's going to fix everything. Um, this time around, Duda may have to actually do this. You know what I'm saying? Um, the original game plan was them, for them to stop doing illegal stuff to take this business to the legal standards. Well, we're going to see just how much Duda is going to do that in season four. And Rose will definitely be on his back, making sure he's getting the job done. As I told you guys in the past, she may have her own agenda, but I'm going to tell you right now, she will apply that pressure on Duda in season four to make sure he is not slipping up and that he is not messing up any opportunities for her. Now, what we can expect for Keisha is this. She's going to be going through a whole lot of mental stress. And it's May, man. It's Mental Health Month. Keisha in season three went through a lot. We know this. Um, in season four, we're going to see the recovery. Um, she's going to struggle. And as Frederick Douglass would say, there's no progress without struggle. So Keisha would definitely struggle. She will progress, though. But she's going to need the support of her family, her friends, um, more so her family than anything. She is making a big decision, um, keeping the baby. This is going to be a very difficult time in her life. A lot of people mentally will not be able to handle what she just went through. Now, Dre, of course, she will be back. I expect Dre to continue to support Keisha. We know in season three, Dre, she did not get the best um, fan appreciation, right? We had theories going on about Dre. She could not be trusted at first. We thought she set Keisha up. This was a fan theory about Dre, right? But Dre proved that she did not set Keisha up. She was here to protect her and to look out for her. Um, and she was loyal to Nina. So we can expect the parents to continue to support Keisha, make sure she gets through this. But remember what I told you, Keisha, we go through a lot of mental hell. It's going to be tough. Um, especially when she what she went through in season three a lot of people don't survive things like that um and speaking of mental health i got a feeling that Emmett is not going to have the best season yes he will have good times but based off the trailer he's going through a lot i got a feeling it's going to be something else not just the issues that he's going to have with his new wife tiffany um, I believe Emmett may struggle with some other things that is yet to be seen. That is my prediction, but we do know he will have struggles with his marriage. What's going to happen when Tiffany finds out the truth that he clapped Dominique's cheeks right before they got married? How will she feel about this? At the end of the day, this is a very early marriage. Um, they're very young. They still have a lot to learn. And it's going to be a lot of problems. So we can pretty much just expect and know that there will be issues within their marriage. And speaking of clapping the cheeks, Darnell will be clapping Dominique's cheeks in this season. Like father, like son. Now, how long do you think this is going to last? Because knowing your boy Darnell, he's an OG. He's going to enjoy this until he's tired. I cannot see this relationship lasting. I could be wrong, but at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you right now, if he's like his past, this ain't lasting. It's just not going to last. Hopefully, he doesn't end up with another kid, but that is yet to be seen. Now, we do know that Jada will be having a very good season. At least some of the season will be good for her. She's going to be messing around with suede. I guess that massage was entirely too good because now... She's going to be a cougar and the young boy is going to take advantage of this. Trust me. But what's going to happen when Emmett finds out about this? How will he, th you know, react to this? He's going to be pissed off. Now, based off what we were seeing in the trailer, we can expect something to go on with Jada. Now, I can be completely wrong, but when she's in this doctor's office, she has the look of concern. What happens? Does something happen with her and Suede? You know, is something serious going on? I can't wait to see the outcome of this actual scene and what's going to happen with those two. Uh, we do know that Jake 
We'll be getting into it with your boy, Bakari, the guy who took out Rusty, a.k.a. Rescue Ronnie. So, we can expect that to happen as well. As I told you guys, Jake will have a hell of a season. This will be probably his most impactful season thus far. And I hope and pray that he's able to get through this season alive and nothing serious happens to him. We know he's going to go through a lot with the police, but he cannot allow that street life to take him down. Now, the good thing out of the shy season four, we know Papa and Maisha will continue to grow. She's going to be focusing on her music. So we can expect that to happen. But we also can expect Papa to change a little bit. Will his you know, behavior change seeing that his dad lied to him all this time, seeing that his dad was doing a lot of dirt, but in church was preaching like he was the best person ever. So expect that to blow up. Now, some other good things that just may happen is Gemma and Kevin. But then again, I told you, it's going to be some bad things as well. This whole relationship may not go as planned. You know, when you're young, you go through a whole lot. You know, you have all types of different girlfriends, different, different experiences. Now, you guys tell me, is Gemma and Kevin a good thing or will your boy Jake swoop in? Now, the fan three of last season was that Gemma and Jake will hook up based off the trailer. We can expect something to happen between the two. We can just see the body language. They're holding hands. Um, we're going to see the context of what really is going to happen when the season airs. But I got a feeling if it's anything like real life, something's definitely going to go down between um, Gemma and Jake. And of course, Jake and Kevin are probably going to fall out, have some issues. But I do think they will fix it and get over that. Now, your boy Treg and Imani. They're going to get back into it. Whether they're work, working with Duda or not, they're going to continue to get their hands dirty to do work. Seems like your boy Treg is going to knock somebody completely out. And you already know Imani's out there watching, making sure no one is out there. Now, the question is, are they doing this for themselves or are they putting in this work for Duda? As I told you, we know that Treg will be working with Duda. And Duda, of course, he is in the 63rd Street Mob, right? That means your boy right here, Nuck If You Buck, who's back in season four, he's going to be working with Duda as well. But it seems like based off the trailer, it's going to be issues with him and Treg. So we shall see how this goes. You know, it makes sense for Treg to have issues with these guys because deep down inside, he doesn't really want to work for Duda. And you already know he's going to be pissed off um, happen to even talk to this dude, Nuck, anyway. Now, even though we're going to be going through a lot of pain and suffering in season four, remember, the season will be about love. That's one thing that the shy always delivers um, is love, good times. So we can expect to see that as well. We are not just going to see a whole lot of negativity, but there will be a lot of negativity in reality because what you want to see in season four is what you see every single day they're going to keep it real as i told you guys this season is going to hit a twist it's going to be one of those seasons that we're not going to forget about that we're going to continue to talk about and hopefully that we can learn from as lena wife said we have to learn how to use our voices um we have to learn how to control what's going on in our society and we have power you know what i'm saying the power is in the people we just got to stick together and put in that work but it will be a challenge. It will be a struggle for, I would say, every character in the shy. And like I told you guys, if you haven't seen my season four official trailer recap, I want you to go check it out right now. Keep yourself updated, especially if you haven't watched or seen anything about the shy for over a year. Um, be back once again, man. We are back season four. We only about three weeks away, man. The season will be airing and once again, we're going to be talking about the shy. We're also going to start talking about some of the new characters that's going to be entering the shy universe. So stay tuned for that, as well as doing full description breakdowns of each and every main character of the show. Because sometimes you just got to go back and remember exactly what each character went through in season three and what is expected for them in season four. So I want you guys to just get ready for that. I thank you guys once again for all the support, all the love, and I will catch y'all 
on the next one. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.